What's up YouTube? Ngayon ipapakita ako sa inyo yung transformation ko from looking like this to looking like this. And the number one thing you need to know in order to lose weight coming up. A quick disclaimer guys, kung ikaw yung taong naghahanap ng quick fix, I'm so sorry hindi para sa iyo yung video na to. Pero kung ikaw yung taong gustong maging healthier, stronger, or overall better versions of themselves, congratulations. Magkakasundo tayo para sa iyo ang channel na to, para sa iyo ang video na to. So let's get right into it. So the number one thing you need to know in order to lose weight, hindi ko alam kung magugustuhan mo to, pero it's being in a caloric deficit. Alam ko na yan! Hindi naman gumagana yan! Ayoko niyan! Hindi naman effective yan! Oo nga! Kakain na ako ng quality food! Ako hindi ako magra-rise! So maganda ka yun! Teka, teka, teka! Pakinggan niyo muna kasi ako. Either quality food or junk food, lahat sila, they contain calories. Ngayon, kung kumain ka ng lean pork steak, chicken breast, and broccoli, pero sumombra ka, dun sa maintenance calories mo or yung calories na kailangan mo sa isang araw, guess what? You'll get fat. Ganun lang siya kadali. So, paano mo ba maa-achieve yung cal calorie deficit na sinasabi? So, first, kailangan natin alamin yung maintenance calories mo. So, ganito yung approach ko sa kanya. Punta ka sa Google, type mo TDEE calculator that stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure There, pili ka lang ng isa, ilalagay mo yung gender mo, yung, uh, yung height, yung age, yung weight, yung uh, body fat percentage. It's okay kung hindi mo alam, it's optional. At yung activity level mo. For example, you're a student or you have a job, so sedentary office job. You work out 1 to 2 times per week or you work out 3 to 4 times per week. Ilagay mo lang doon and then it will give you a number that will be your maintenance calories. So your maintenance calories, yun yung kailangan ng katawan mo in order to survive. Yun yung uh, kailangan ng katawan mo para mag-function -pro properly yung brain in order to digest your food and to execute daily tasks effectively. From your maintenance calories, babawasan natin siya para magkaroon tayo ng caloric deficit for example, ang approach ko is approximately 15 to 20%. Kung gusto mo pwedeng 25%, mas mabilis maglulose ng weight. So 15 to 25%. Pero kunwari, meron tayong nakuhang maintenance calories na uh, 2,000. So from there, 2,000 calories. 15%, so times 0.15, that will be 300. So 2,000 minus 300, that will be 1,700. 1,700 ang kakainin natin sa isang araw. From there, maglulus tayo ng weight. Ngayon, yun lang bang dahilan ng paglulus ng weight? Siyempre hindi. Diet is one. Another way is physical activity. So, pwede ka mag-exercise to further burn more calories. Kasi kapag nag-search ka sa internet, makikita mo lahat ng diets na nandyan. Nandyan yung ketogenic, low-carb, paleo, Atkins, if it fits your macros, HCG drops, hindi ko alam kung narinig nyo na yun. Pero, lahat sila, lahat ng clients nila, nilalagay nila into a caloric deficit. Yung iba, into a severe caloric deficit. Which is overall, napakasama sa katawan. Maaapektuhan yung health mo, yung hormonal balance mo. You will be more groggy, less energetic. Lahat yan. So, yung approach ko, minimal deficit, this way, mas may enjoy mo yung diet mo at makakain mo yung mga pagkain gusto mo. For example, kumain ako ng Pringles kanina, hindi siya quality food, junk food siya, ba Pero, ikikount ko siya. For example, ang serving ng Pringles is 25 grams, so that's about 12 chips. So, yung 12 chips na yun, pag kinain ko siya, that is 130 calories. So, for example, 1,700, yung computed natin, 1,700 minus 130, that will be 1,570. Yun na lang, yun natitira kong calories for the day. That way, hindi ako tataba. At maglulus pa ako ng weight. So, 
nakain ko yung gusto ko, hindi ako magkikrib, hindi ko dinedeprive yung sarili ko, and then maglulus pa ako ng weight. Uh, that's my take on it. Siyempre, may mga downsides to. Unang-una, yes, mas mabagal siya, mas mabagal kang maglulus, pero mostly ng malulus mo coming from this diet is fat. So, kung babae ka, for example, yung glutes mo, glutes is a muscle, yung butt mo is a muscle. So, hindi mo malulus yung glutes mo, especially kung nag-exercise ka, nagsusquat ka, nag-hip thrust ka, pinaghirapan mo yung glutes mo, at gusto mong mawala yung chan mo, hindi mo mawawala yung glutes mo, na pinaghirapan mo, plus, mas liliit yung waist mo, creating that Coca-Cola body that most of the girls want. Kung lalaki ka naman, Siyempre, you have this, uh, for example, your shoulder, your broad shoulder, hindi mo mawawala yung shoulder na yan, plus mas, mas magta-tighten yung waist mo, creating that classic V taper na sa so tingin ko, syempre, every man wants. So ngayon, alam nyo na, that weight loss is all about calories in versus calories out. Hindi na kayo mapapod into this fad diets na hindi mo alam kung saan nagsulputan. Just be consistent and be mindful in what you're taking in and start tracking your calories. Always remember, anything great in life takes time to accomplish. If you like the video, please make sure to like the video. If you learn something new, like mo na rin yan. I have shared a lot of good information in this video alone. So share it to your friends, share it to your family, share it to your loved ones. Subscribe, hit that notification para hindi mo ma-miss yung mga next videos natin. If you have questions, comment it down below. Sasagutin ko yung mga yan. If you want, we can connect through my other social media accounts. Ilalagay ko siya dito, Instagram and Twitter. So, Instagram and Twitter, Instagram and Twitter. Doon, nagsishare, nagsishare din ako ng fitness tips as well as diet tips na sa tingin kong magugustuhan mo. At bago ko tapusin tong video na to, meron akong isang tanong para sa'yo. What is the Tagalog for a calorie. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.